Weather Authority local weather forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's certainly a warm day, but also looks really beautiful out there. So on our RV World Yuma Skycam, we are experiencing that sunset hour. So we're seeing that glow in our skies already. So very beautiful view, but not feeling all that great. We have unseasonable temperatures is what I'm tracking. So let's go ahead and bring up the next slide here. Yes, unseasonable heat is expected to continue yet again today and for the rest of this week. And our temperatures are definitely staying on the warm side. Side. Our averages are 90 degrees and 89. So as we look at them now, we are cooling off from the afternoon. We did have 101 was our high for Yuma. So definitely felt those warmer conditions. Now we're sitting at 97 degrees, 97 also in YPG and also 94 in Imperial. So we are going to continue to have temperatures just like this, even warmer in the coming days. So yes, we are going to boost our temperatures just a little bit more heading into our Thursday. So today above normal will continue as we have this ridge of high pressure staying in place. It's keeping us dry. Winds also nice and calm, but a little bit hot or it's safe to say hotter than normal for this time of year. I'm tracking highs to be about 10 to even 15 degrees above our seasonal average. So that is pretty warm for this time of year. So by tomorrow, it's expected to be one of the hottest days of the week. So Thursday and Friday will definitely be the warmest and then that heat will carry into our Friday and even into our weekends. We won't expect um, cooler conditions by Sunday. So that's when those will start to roll in, thankfully. But also, don't forget about our heat safety. It's really important, even though we're not experiencing excessive heat like we do in the summer months, it's still really important to make sure we're taking those precautions, especially if you're going to be spending any time outdoors, especially for a long period of time. So make sure you're lathering up on that sunscreen. Also taking frequent shade breaks and, of course, drinking plenty of water. But for the rest of tonight, we are going to see our temperatures cooling off. So even though afternoon highs are going to be a little bit on the warm side, but overnight lows will consistently be more cooler. So that'll be a lot more pleasant. So our temperatures will cool down pretty nicely. Still going to be a little warm. We'll be hanging out in the 80s, but overnight lows, we could see some 60s and even some low 70s out there. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that quickly. Across the desert side, southwest early tomorrow, we are going to see again some low 60s and even some 70 degree temperatures to kick off tomorrow morning. Quickly looking at our air quality index sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. It is looking pretty good. And on our eight day forecast sponsored by Imperial Valley Hyundai, triple digits will stretch into Saturday and then we'll start to cool down on Sunday and become a little bit breezier too. So we are going to have breezy conditions and cooler conditions. So we'll have those 80s um, rolling in on Monday. So let's get through this week with this heat wave and then we'll have much enjoyable conditions for the fall season.